Honorable Dr. Babu Owino, <laughs> to, to maybe welcome the, the youth uh, uh, leadership from across the country in the house. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I would like to take this opportunity, first of all, uh, at least to also welcome the students who are here first. Honorable Speaker, they might not forgive me for being the longest serving student leader on earth from the University of Nairobi. And to the students who are here from Tanzoya, I want to tell you that you are the best among the rest. Your honorable members have done the best job to ensure that you come here in parliament. And I would like to congratulate our, the women rep for Tanzoya, together with honorable Wanyonyi and uh, honorable Kaleb Misi for the great job that they've done. To our students, know that where we are, is where you belong. Where you are, we have doctors among you, we have engineers among you, we have teachers among you, we have members of parliament among you, and we have leaders in different professions in this country. Just know that in the next few years, you will be somebody in life. It doesn't matter where you come from. All these members of parliament you are seeing here, including the Honorable Speaker who is seated there, came from a very humble background, from a very sorry background. But just know that with determination, you will make it. And us as your members of parliament, we will ensure that we hold your hand so that you reach the highest level, the highest echelon of education in this country. From high school, ensure that you go to the university. That is where Comrade Power is. From the university, ensure that you get a degree certificate, one. If you are a man, ensure that you get a wife from the university, two. If you are a lady, ensure that you get a man from the university, three. Because the kind of babies you will sire, the intellectual capacity of such babies will be at optimum. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, now to the youth leaders who are here. Honorable Babowino, I gave you only one minute. Thank you, thank you. So can uh, you be concluding? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. To the youth leaders who are here, we are all comrades. And I know very soon, in 2027, some of you will be in Parliament, some of you will be in various positions in this country, and let us fight on. We will always fight for your inherent and inalienable rights, I can see one of the most active ladies in the nation, Tabitha Tunakupenda Sana. Asanteni Sana, the youth leaders, may God bless you all. Asanteni. Thank, thank you very much. Let, let me, I know all youthful MPs want to speak, but um, th there is a way by which we do things in Parliament. So I, I would request we go into, we return to the main business we are transacting.